Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about least common multiple. Example, my mom is asking me to buy her grocery items every 5 days. She also asked me to buy her medicines every 3 days. How many times in 30 days will my mom ask me to buy her grocery items and medicines on the same day? What are the given in this problem? We have every 5 days. We also have 3 days or every 3 days and 30 days. In solving this problem, we have to get their LCM or least common multiple. We can solve for the least common multiple using the listing method. So later, I'll just teach you how to do it with continuous division. But first, we'll have the listing method. Okay, let's list the multiples of 5 and then 3. What are the multiples of 5 and 3? 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 5, and so on. And for the 3, the, the multiples of 3 are the following. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. Then 12, and 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30 and so on and so forth now let's identify the common factors of 5 and 3 we can see here that is we have here 15 and 15 here then we also have 30 and 30 here we can say that 15 and 30 45 60 are the common multiples of 5 and 3 but we have to consider the list among those common factors then we can say the list among the common factors that we have for 5 and 3 is 15 so the lcm of 5 and 3 is 15 we can also solve this problem by using continuous division now we'll write 5 and then 3 what number can we divide 5 and 3? Is there a number that we can divide 5 and 3? I think there's none except for 1. 5 divided by 1 is 5. 3 divided by 1 is 3. So in solving for our LCM, we can say that this is in letter L. Just multiply the numbers inside this and we're, we're good to go. 1 times 5 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15. So we have the same answer with the, with the listing method. Both the listing method and the continuous division method gives us a correct answer, which is the same, and that is 15 days. But the question is, how many times in 30 days will my mom ask me to buy her grocery items and medicines on the same day? So every 15 days, so in 30 days, how many 15 days are there? So there are two 15 days or it means my mom will ask me twice to buy both her grocery items and medicine. So our answer is two times in 30 days or twice in 30 days. That's the final answer. We have an example. A bus to Aklan leaves a terminal every 15 minutes. Another bus to Rojas leaves the terminal every 20 minutes. Suppose it is 8.30 a.m. right now. At what time will both buses leave the terminal together? Our given are the following. Every 15 minutes. And we have also every 20 minutes. And 8.30 am we can solve the lcm for this problem using the continuous division let's have that 15 and 20 what number can 
we divide both 15 and 20, we have 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Do we still have a number that can divide 3 and 4? No. So it means we are so it means we can already get our LCM. This is our LCM. All we need to do is to multiply all three numbers inside. So we'll have 5 times 3 is 15. 15 times 4 is equal to 60. Let's check if 15 times 4 is 60. 5 times 4 is 20. Write 0 here and carry 2 at the top of 1. 4 times 1 is equal to 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So it means 15 times 4 is equal to 60. Our answer is 60 minutes. But the question is, if it is 8.30 a.m. right now, at what time will both buses leave the terminal together? So that is after 60 minutes. So it's going to be from 8.30 a.m. plus 1 hour that will give us 9.30 a.m. So our answer, final answer is 9.30 a.m. Another example. Find the lowest number, which is less by 5, to be divided by 30, 36, and 48 exactly. We will get the LCM of 30, 36, and 48. But first, for anything else, we will write our given, which is 30, 36, and 48. But we have to take note that is whatever is the answer, we have to minus 5. It says there it is less by 5. So we'll take note of that. That's less by 5. Now we can solve using the continuous division method. Let's have 30, 36, and 48. What number can we divide 30, 36, and 48? We'll write 3. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 36 divided by 3 is 12. 48 divided by 3 is, let's divide that. 48 divided by 3, that's 4 divided by 3, that's 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Minus, that's 1 and 8. How many 3's are there in 18? That's 6. 6 times 3 is 18, then minus 0. So, so it means... 48 divided by 3 is 16. We can write 16 here. Do we still have a number that can divide 10, 12, and 16? Yes, we still have 2. We can divide it by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Do we still have a number that can divide 5, 6, and 8? I think there's none. So it means we can proceed to identifying a number that can divide even two of these numbers. So we'll find a number that can divide 5 and 6. There's none. How about 5 and 8? We don't have that. But we still have a number that can divide 6 and 8. And that is 2. What will we do is to copy only 5 and then we can proceed to 6 divided by 2 it will give us 3 and 8 divided by 2 that will give us 4 usually this is the common mistakes our students commit because if they cannot find a number that can divide the given 3 numbers they just stop they don't know that we, they can still continue by finding a number that can divide even two of the given numbers since we cannot find any number that can divide two or three of these numbers five three and four let's proceed to the multiplication of these numbers inside this letter l box so we'll try to put all the multiplication signs in between that will give us 3 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 3 and times 4. Next is to multiply these numbers. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. 
2 times 5 is equal to 10, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. To make things easier, we can do that. Um, we will erase this one first to give us more space. Okay, we can just multiply 6 and then 10 and then 12. Let's do that. 6 times 10 is equal to 60 times 12. Now let's multiply 60 and 12. 60 times 12. That's 0 times 2, 0. 6 times 2 is 12. 1 times 0 is 0. And 1 times 6 is 6. Then we can add 0. Then 2, 7. That is 720. But the LCM of 30, 36, and 48 is 720. But it says there in our problem that we have to find the lowest number, which is less by 5. So we can just subtract 5 from 720. So 720 minus 5, that will give us 715. That is the required number. Now let's have some exercises. The first one is 15 and 12. Let's find the LCM of 15 and 12 using the continuous division. What number can we divide both 15 and 12? That's 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Do we still have a number that can divide both 5 and 4? If there's none, then our answer will be inside this box. We just put multiplication sign between these numbers. Then we're good to go. That is, 3 times 5 times 4 is equal to 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times 4, let's solve that. 15 times 4, 4 times 5 is 20. Carry 2 at the top of 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 60. So it means our LCM for 15 and 12 is 60. That is our final answer. How about 8 and 9? What is our LCM of 8 and 9? What number can we divide both 8 and 9? We don't have 1 except for 1. So 8 divided by 1 is 8. 9 divided by 1 is 9. So our LCM is the one inside. So we'll just put multiplication sign in between these numbers. Then we're good to go. Next, we have 1 times 8 times 9. Okay, 1 times 8 is 8. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. That is our LCM. Another one, we have 25, 40, and 60. What number can we divide the three of these numbers? We can divide it by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. And 60 divided by 5 is 12. Okay, let's solve that. 60 divided by 5. How many 5s are there in 6? That's 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Then we can subtract. Um, 6 minus 5 is 1. Bring down 0. How many 5s are there in 10? That's 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Then subtract. 10 minus 10 is 0. So that's why 60 divided by 5 is 12. Now, what number can we divide the three numbers 5, 8, and 12? We still have a number that can divide three of them. We don't have, but we can proceed to 5 and 8. Is there a number that can divide 5 and 8? We don't have. How about 5 and 12? We also don't have. How about 8 and 12? Yes, we can divide it by 2. So just bring down 5. Or copy 5 then we can proceed to 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6 do we still have a number that can divide three of these numbers we don't have but 
4 and 6 can be divided by 2. So, we'll just divide it by 2. Copy 5 here. Then, let's proceed to division. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Do we still have a number that can divide these three numbers or two of these three numbers? If there's none, then we proceed to multiplication of these numbers inside the L box. We will put multiplication sign in between these numbers. We can rewrite the numbers here to have more space for solving. 5 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 3. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 3 is 6. So it's easier to multiply that way. Then we can multiply 10 times 10 times 6. So 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 6 is equal to 600. Our LCM for 25, 40, and 60 is equal to 600. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!